presenting the budget to the Joint Senate and House of Representatives Committee on Communications, ICT, and Cybercrimes, headed by Senator Luremi Tinubu, the Executive Vice Chairman of NCC, Professor Umar Dambata, gave an overview of the performance of the Commission's 2021 budget and 2022 budget. According to the Executive Vice Chairman of NCC, a total of 632.39 billion naira is proposed as revenue generation by the Commission in 2022. This, he said, the revenue would be realized through the sale of networks, fines, among others. Uh, a total revenue of 632.393 billion. Page one, uh, the expenditures recurrent, total recurrent expenditure is 86.2 billion. Uh, capital projects, under capital projects, our internal capital projects, we have total capital of 29.336 billion. Special projects, total special projects of 42.445 billion. Total capital projects that's made up of the capital and the special projects. 71.782 billion. The whole aggregate expenditure, both recurrent and capital, comes to 158.024 billion. Transfers to USPF is estimated at 7.5 billion, and transfer to the federal government is estimated at 466.868 uh, billion. In the meantime, the lawmakers demanded an explanation on the deployment of fifth-generation technology in Nigeria and its technological impact on Nigerians. Um, as for the concerns, you know, by Nigerians about, about 5G, we share these concerns. And we went to great lengths to explain that whereas these concerns, you know, are justified, but the really the facts on the ground you know do not really lend credence to these concerns one allaying the fears of nigerians on the 5g network the executive vice chairman of ncc reiterated that electromagnetic emission from the 5g network has no adverse effect on human health he added that there is no known scientific evidence till date suggesting that 5G poses any risk to public health and safety. The uh, EVC speaking, I want you to reassure Nigerians about the safety of this 5G. And there's concern of um, uh, a particular high risk, uh, extremely damaging malware called Flubot. So maybe you can explain on that so that Nigerians will be assured that, you know, their safety is guaranteed. It would be recalled that the Nigerian Communications Commission had reiterated its 97% readiness for the implementation of the 5G technology in Nigeria. From the National Assembly, Mariam Zakari, Liberty News.